What is up, family? It's your boy D coming right back at you with another one. Right now, we're back in the lab, and a blow up is on the menu. I just had to laugh, man, because the last time we tried to blow this thing up, it was a complete fail. All right, so you guys may be wondering, well, what do you got for power this time, D? Because that little Razor Series Power Q suggests did not do it. Okay, so what I have for power this time is the Dayton Audio SA1000. This is rated at 900 and some watts at a 4 ohm load, and it's rated for roughly 500 watts at a 4 ohm load. And right now, I mean at an 8 ohm load, sorry about that. And what I have this thing wired into right now is an 8 ohm load. So you guys may be wondering, why do you have it wired into an 8 ohm load? Since an 8 ohm load does not let this thing do full power. Well, for one, I didn't want to cheat the sub, right? I didn't want to just, it's a dual 4 ohm, first of all. It's a dual 4 ohm subwoofer. So I could have easily just wired one voice coil and got a 4 ohm load and pushed 1,000 watts into that one coil. But I didn't want to make it like I was cheating the subwoofer. So what I did, I said, I'm going to give it a chance because this is not 2 ohm stable. Of course, if it's a dual 4 ohm subwoofer, you can wire it down to 2 ohms or up to 8 ohms. So that's what I did. I said, no, this is not 2 ohm stable. So I'm going to wire this thing up to 8 ohms. And if that doesn't blow it, if that doesn't send it to the graveyard, we're going to just wire one voice coil and see how that does. It's a pretty good sub, y'all. Now y'all see why I love this sub. This is a pretty good one. But I don't know. Maybe the SA-1000 got what it takes to send it to where I'm trying to send it. But enough yip, yap, yapping. Let's go ahead and get the camera on it. Front stage center. And we're going to be pushing some sounds through this thing. Let me get my tunes going again. All right. And here we go. Oh, yeah. By the way, I have the gain setting at about 50%. And we're going to see what she do. Ah, listen to that sound, man. I hate that this subwoofer blow like this. But hey, it is what it is. They don't last forever. Sounds horrible, man. I honestly don't think that an 8 ohm low is going to do anything for this. I think it needs to be at 4 ohms if we're going to send it to the graveyard. Uh, 
I'm gonna be wiring it down. I'm gonna rewire. <laughs> I'm gonna be rewiring it down to four ohms and see what you guys think about that. But as of right now, eight ohm low for the SA1000. Scar still holding in there, man. I guess you consider this one another fail for the D, man. Another fail for the channel. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna be right back at y'all with part three to this. It's gonna be wired just one. Voice cord is going to be wired and I'm going to be having this thing cranked to the max. I'm going to send a thousand watts into that one voice cord and see if it can hold up. But anyway, that's enough for right now. Y'all can go and give me my thumb downs for this fail. Hey, I take it, man. I own it. I, I, I couldn't do it. So uh, until next time, it's your boy D and I'm out.